it, it occurred it, it two, occurred three, two, four three, times a week, four times a week um, um, for, for at least the three at weeks least the until three the meat came back, meat came and back. if not and longer, if not longer. And it was, it was, and it was, it was, it was, it was the scariest it was dream. The scariest dream. And the biggest thing, I, I, and this dream was just horrifying. And I would wake up and just in, not in tears, but just in total terror every night. And it is the, it is the scariest moment. And at that moment, I wake up. Everything, and every that moment is turning around. Just the terror around. washes over me. And even then, even when I first wake up, I can't, can't quite place myself. I can't quite find where I fit in. Can't find that center of focus. My father would load all of the lambs into the truck, and they would be taken away. My father would feed them, them, play with them, and, and I grew up with them. them. And from that point on, every summer when the lambs were taken away, I would have the worst nightmares. I felt I felt balanced. I felt, I felt dizzy. dizzy. And at the at these plants, they hang the animal upside down, and they cut its throat and they drink blood. And from there, it's still strung up, it's skinned, and put into a meat locker. Can't quite focus, focus on, anything. on anything. Everything, 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 everything is, is, turning is turning around and around and around. And, around. Focus on and I can't, I can't sit, get focused. I can't, I can't sit down. I can't stay standing. I'm just, I'm completely off balance. Completely dizzy. He never told me where they went, but two or three weeks later, he would get a large shipment of meat, and that is what we would eat all winter. It was horrifying. It was a horrifying experience to learn that the meat you enjoy all winter is the same lambs that you raised all spring. I felt off balance, I felt dizzy. Everything, everything is, is turning around and around and around. I grew up with them. I felt off balance, I felt off balance, I felt dizzy. Everything, everything, everything is turning around and around and around and around and around. around, and around, and around. started off just like any other afternoon. Every day before Power Rangers, I fed my hermit crab, who I cleverly named Hermie. My routine was complicated when I discovered Hermie had abandoned his shell. My dedication to the investigation waned as today's Power Rangers episode rapidly approached. I wondered if my mom had seen him. I asked her if she had seen the naked runaway. She looked at me in the same manner she did when I caught her being the Tooth Fairy. She sat me down on my race car bed. All right, I'll tell you where Hermie went. Just like humans, hermit crabs get homesick. Hermie probably missed his family. Deep underground, Deep underground there is a secret railroad. The, the homesick hermit crabs, crabs leave, leave in the middle of the night. night. Why did he go naked? Maybe he was an exhibitionist. Even though I didn't know what she meant, I believed her. I envisioned hundreds of hermit crabs racing to the station, some carrying their suitcases, others without any luggage at all, with different types of shells, beautiful colors and shapes and patterns, and others braving the journey naked like Hermie. They meet up, meet up together, together at the, at the station, station and board, board the train. train. He went back to the Jersey Shore. Was I a bad hermit crab, Dad? No, not at all. He just missed his family. I thought we were his family. Don't take it personally. Lots of hermit crabs do this. I bought my mother's lie and continued to believe in the underground hermit crab railroad until the day my friend's hermit crab died and derailed the fantasy. Where's your hermit crab? He died. He might have been homesick. What? There's a secret underground train for homesick hermit crabs. They take you back to the beach to be with their family. That's where Hermie went, you know. <laughs> Who told you that? My mom. She lied. Hermie's dead, you fucking retard. Just like you. Just like you. Hermit crabs get hermit crabs get hermit crabs.
Crow probably missed his phone. <laughs> Dead, you fucking retard. Deep underground, deep underground. There's a secret. There's a secret. Hermie didn't board the underground Hermit Crab Railroad because the underground Hermit Crab Railroad didn't exist. It was easier to imagine him partying at the beach with his family on a sunny day, but it wasn't true. He was dead. Just like humans, hermit crabs get went back. Went back. All right, sure. don't take it personally. Don't take it personally. Just like humans, the hermit crabs. All right, I'll tell you where hermit crabs. Right, probably missed his. I love those lands. Was I a bad hermit crab? I played with them and I grew up with them. Dead, you fucking retard. I envisioned hundreds of hermit crabs racing on the stage. He went back to the church. Sure, they would be taken away. I feared the unhappiness when we started to lose his life in the other afternoon. <laughs> horrifying, and I would and wake up. And the biggest up, thing, I, just, I, this dream was just not in tears, but horrifying, just horrifying, and I would wake up every night just in the ground, around, around. But where does your train go? go? Underground, just like the animal upside down, and they cut its throat and they see the blood. <laughs>